Hey guys, and here we are back with another component on our computer build for 2018. And in this particular case, the motherboard that I'm using, which is the Asus ROG Strix Z370G Micro ATX motherboard. <laughs> And we are back. So starting as always with a very quick unboxing experience. Once we open the package, we will find of course the motherboard, which is the Asus ROG Strix Z370. In this particular case, Micro ATX. There's also an ATX and Mini ATX available. Now we will also find four SATA cables, one SLI bridge, two-way connector, one thermal sensor cable, one IO shields, several other uh, usual accessories along with some documentation and of course the CD with drivers. Now the motherboard itself uh, looks in my opinion of course and this is something very subjective looks really cool. It has that uh, black dark grey color sheen that looks really nice on a black uh, setup like mine but even if I was using a white setup I do believe that wouldn't look bad at all. Now looking at the I.O. at the back, we will find two USB 3.1 generation 2 ports, one display port, one HDMI port, two USB 2.0 ports, PS2 connector, four USB 3.1 generation 1 ports, one gigabit Ethernet port and audio channels along with an optical out. And in terms of main features, it's using the Intel Z370 chipset with the 1151 socket for the 8th generation Intel CPUs. It has 4 DDR4 uh, RAM DIMMs that can take up to 64 gigabytes of RAM. In my particular case, as you guys may have watched on the previous videos, I'm only using 32 gigs at this moment. It also has two PCI 3.0 16 slots reinforced with those metal protections and also two PCI 3.0 one time slot and in terms of storage it has two m.2 sockets pci 3.0 slots one of which is located at the bottom and the other one it's near the ram and personally it's not my favorite position for it it also has six sata 3 ports and in terms of internal connections we will find usb 2.0 usb 3.1 generation 1 and generation 2 ports and once we have everything in place and connected with our operating system installed and of course all the drivers and utilities then we can start using the computer of course and uh, talking just about the motherboard itself in this particular case and the software that it brings the AI suit and especially talking about the fan expert which is one of the things that I used in the past and I'm using right now which will allow us to uh, set a fan profile for every single fan that we have in our system so that we can achieve a maximum silence and when required maximum performance and it also has the five-way optimization tool that will allow us very easily to overclock our system with a single click of a button but i will talk more about that when i do share my opinion and feedback regarding my cpu and cpu cooler and of course there are other tools but these two are my favorites i've used them in the past and i'm using them right now and hopefully will use them in the future guys there's also a a new app at least for me which is the Aura Sync app that will allow us to control the LEDs on the motherboard and also any other components that are compatible with uh, the Aura Sync feature like my G Skill uh, RAM sticks and basically it will allow us uh, to choose from a lot of color options and guys I'll give you a few seconds right over here while you watch it on screen I did test it out and I did record uh, both my screen and the computer itself at the same time so that you can take a better idea of what we can do there are a lot of presets we can choose uh, static colors or we can choose uh, different 
uh, more than one color to be more precise so that it transits from one color and so on and so forth but better than I'm talking here the images on screen will tell better the story at the end of the day than just me talking about it and that is it guys this is a quick overview on this motherboard there is a lot more that we can cover but if you guys have any questions just drop them down below and I will try to answer as fast as I can and as best as I can as usual. That being said, my name is Roberto George and I'll see you guys on the next one.